Hey YouTube, John here. I want you to think about gravity for a second. Think about everything you know about it, what it is, how it works. Pretty simple, right? Well, what if I told you that what you're thinking is probably wrong? Don't believe me? Well, let's take a look. I'm sure you're probably taught that gravity is the pulling force that one object has on another. And you're taught some of the basics, like as an object's mass increases, its capacity for having gravity also increases. In fact, these views on gravity are to say the least misleading, and to say the most just plain wrong. I recently saw this issue tackled in a Veritasium video, which I'll post in the description below, but just to summarize, many people were shown a model of the Earth and the Moon. These people were then asked, which object is there to greater gravitational pull on the other? Without fail, these people quickly said that the Earth exerts a greater gravitational pull on the Moon than the Moon exerts on the Earth. And when asked to explain themselves, these people said that the Earth exerts a greater gravitational pull because it has a greater mass. Believe it or not, all these people were wrong. To explain why, let's turn to a diagram. We start with two circles. In each circle, there's a one kilogram mass, and these objects are said to have an equal gravitational attraction to each other. Most people accept this, and even find it to be pretty intuitive. But here's where things get more complicated. When you add another one kilogram mass to the bigger circle, it would have twice the gravity of the smaller circle, right? No, actually the gravitational force would still be equal. This is because the mass in the smaller circle is just as attracted to each mass in the larger circle as they are to it. This process can continue, with the number of masses in the larger circle increasing, while the gravitational pull between the two objects remains the same. I know that may seem counterintuitive, and to be honest, when I first saw this demonstration, I didn't really understand the concept fully either. But when I started looking deeper into the subject, things became so much more clear to me. My epiphany came in my college physics class, the first time I saw the gravitational force equation. It was at this moment that I finally realized how gravity really works. Here, I'll show you what I mean. The gravitational force equation states that little g, gravity, is equal to big G, the universal gravitational constant, multiplied by the quotient of the two masses being observed, divided by the square of the distances between the two objects. So to simplify, this equation states that the gravitational force increases proportionally to the two masses involved, but decreases as the distance between these two masses increases. One thing you may notice is that this equation gives no distinction as to which object is pulling on the other. This is when it all clicked for me. Gravity wasn't the force that had always been taught it was, which simply allowed giant objects to pull less massive objects closer to themselves. Gravity, like a good relationship, is a two-way street which exists based on a mutual attraction, meaning that the moon and the earth actually exert an equal force on one another. We pull just as hard on the earth as it pulls on us, and that we share an equal attraction to every single particle of every last object in the entire universe. Needless to say, my mind was blown. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you learned something, and look for a new video every week. Until next time, never stop learning.